You said something like kind of like heartwarming that kind of that like I was like, all right, now I have to do it. You know, she, I don't know what she said. She was like, yeah, and like, you know, what? You know, like, <laughs> what? Yeah, like, <laughs> dude, she said something so wow, it really stuck no, with really, me. I, I don't know what she said, but god <laughs> damn, it really blew my mind at the time. Uh, you know, Welcome to another episode of The Gringo and The Guapo with your resident gringo, Kyle McLemore, and our resident guapo, Axe Duarte. That's right. Hitting the double digits at last, the big 1-0. We've made it into the double digit club. How do you feel about it? Feel great. Me Uh, too. Feel amazing. Uh, Before we get (laughs) too far along, hit that subscribe yeah, it's been too long. I'm out of the whole habit of it. Subscribe, whatever, wherever you get your podcasts, you know. Sponsored by Liquid Death. How about we cheers to the new sponsor, oh, yeah. my good sir? Damn. Right. We made it. <laughs> we made it at last. Made it to the top. Mm. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Well, for this episode, being that it is a special episode, it is the a special double digit episode. We got a few <coughs> segments. Uh, one of them being Green Going Guapo inside the NFL. Another being Buzzsaw. And then maybe we'll wrap it up with Alien Invasion. But first, playing with lots of new formats in the show here and seeing what works. So if you All could right. do me a favor, direct your attention uh, to the screen and we'll open up the show with the clip. Hopefully the audio works. Okay. Audio on it. All right. But feel free to describe what's going on. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Hey. <yeah. laughs> That's my Jeep. Um. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, here, let me wind it back a bit. Are you a fan of uh, scooters? You big razor guy? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> you can tell somebody loses it way up front. Ooh. Look at this dude right here. Uh, Full fuck, scorpion, dude. but he has a great recovery. Like, dude, yeah, he is I, walking around. I think he's completely. You know what's impressive is that, like, a couple of, like seconds after you see his head, kind of like, dude, he full. Yeah, sc- dude, get over here, scorpion style. Yeah, and I think he is just blasting well, out the ears with adrenaline, and he just like, yep, because he looks like he's kind of like uh, discombobulated a little. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, these things are fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, it, well, actually, I forgot to mention in the beginning, I wanted to bring up this segment Damn. called Shred the Gnar with the Gringo and the Guapo. Right. Um, I wanted to work on my interview skills. Um, I know you're a big uh, skateboarder, or you at one time were. Are you still grinding the Gnar, as they say? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or have you officially oh, retired shit. your trunks? Yeah, I still, I still skate. I'm trying to skate more. Uh, that, yeah. you know, what do you find was like your better. inspiration? Like what made you like go out and buy a board or like did somebody like give you a board or like what what started the origin of the NAR? <laughs> <laughs> um I think it would be Tyler used to have this skateboard in his garage. No way. Yeah, and I just started skating it like and you know, pushing around. I was like, oh I kinda like this. And then just went from there. Just kept going and going? Yeah. That's cool. I, just, usually, uh, I was going to guess maybe like some kind of movie or like Tony Hawk or something. I know that I we mean, were, we grew up right in like prime time Tony Hawk pro skater of video game era. So it's like, yeah, that was going to be my guess. Well, when I was a lot like younger, I went through like a little tiny skate and skateboarding phase, mm-hmm. I guess. But it was kind of more of like, I just like cruised on it. I never actually like did tricks. Or got into like watching like skate videos or mm-hmm. like different brands, yeah. um, and I think that kind of like faded away. So and then once like I saw that board at Tyler's house, I was just like, "Oh, this is fucking cool! I I actually really like it, and I felt I don't know comfortable." You have any like yeah. uh, skateboard heroes that you looked up to? Like uh, I mentioned, Tony Hawk or 
Oh, like I'm really, going, I'm really pining for Tony. I mentioned Tony Hawk. I want to get him on the show. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm actually glad that he has like I feel like he has a lot more respect now than he did I before. I Completely agree. I you feel know? like he's really having a moment here. Like uh, yeah, know, where it's like really getting like carved on the Mount Rushmore finally. Like yeah, yeah. But the the thing is, I don't know. Like I think uh, one of the biggest things with skateboarding is like kind of being against you know corporations and being a sellout. And I think that's where, like, a lot of skaters started turning their back on Tony Hawk because he started branding like crazy, right? And then a lot of people were like, oh, dude, this is the ultimate sellout thing to do. Mm. But, you know, like... In uh, hindsight, cha-ching. Yeah, like, dude, totally, know, totally, like, the right move, yeah. That's kind of like a lot of skaters are still doing that now, mm. just on a smaller scale. Mm. It's like, well, you know, you... You have something like you're marketable. So, yeah, of course, you're going to brand mm. wherever you can to make some money. But, I mean, there's different ways to do it. I feel mm. like uh, if I was, like, his agent, I'd probably, like, tell him to do it differently. Mm-hmm. But either way, I feel like he also learned from that because I think his branding is a lot better now. Yeah. He has a really good uh, podcast. Um, yeah. Really good. I, I have yet to listen to it. but I've I know I pushed uh, the hot. Was there any other... Skaters that you looked up to? Um, I would say like Jamie Thomas. Mm. Uh, he's from Zero. There's like uh, Peter Ramondetta, uh, Chris Cole. Those guys were mm. pretty big, like a lot more street skating oh, okay. kind of guys, like actually like skating mm. in the street too. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, just circa in general you know it was like my first like uh there's a video called it's time Mm. and i think it was like the first video that i actually like bought and it really just fucking opened my mind to street skating you know always been street and no vert or is that Um, what's called vert yeah uh vert it is just called vert skating and like uh no like to me the thing about street skating is like telling a story you know like all the crazy shit, like dealing with security guards, you oh, know, like, like the adventure. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> there's a lot more going on. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay. like there's nothing wrong it's with more like the spirit of skaters. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is because like when you think about like, I don't know, when I think about real skateboarding, like especially when it came to like a lot of the like, like Dogtown guys, mm-hmm. like where people started to just break into somebody's backyard yeah. and skate their pool. Skate their pool, yeah. Yeah, and then so, like, skating has never... To me, it's like the real skating is skating stuff that's not mm. meant for skateboarding. Right, like making, you know? like, the environment your yeah. skate park or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so that's, to me, like, my biggest influence. That's how I grew up skating, too. Mm. We never had a skate park, you know, obviously, in the high yeah, desert. true, yeah. So, like, you just... You had no Whatever choice. You had, yeah. And that was always the fun part. Mm. I actually, oh, I have a good story. I have a great story. Right. Um, so I'm at In and Out. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know why. Some, this is the most <laughs> California story ever. Yeah, talking about Lords of Dog Town and In and Out, bruh. Yeah. yeah. They're like, fuck these Callies. Mm. But no, it was, <clears throat> it was great, man. It, it was. Um, so I just got my animal fries. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, so there's like these uh, two groups, these two tables, mm-hmm. and they kind of start like uh, talking shit to each other back and forth. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a little escalated pretty fast. One of like three of the people from that table went to the other one. They're like get, starting to get in their face. Mm-hmm. One of the chicks was like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. We're just trying to, you know, we're just trying to eat, like leave us alone, blah, blah. While this is all going on, I, I see one dude, uh, a buddy of mine named Dre, that I used to skate with like way back in the day, like obviously where there was no skate parks, we were just a bunch of kids just skating call around. Back in the day, Dre. You know, exactly. We, I'll call him that from now on. <laughs> and, and so I kept looking at him, but I wasn't sure because it's been so long since I've seen him yeah. that I was like, is this... You know what I mean? When you see somebody that you, you recognize, oh, but you don't want to take that leap. I've sure, had a couple yeah. times where I've done that, and mm-hmm. it wasn't the person. I'm really bad with names. I've done that yeah. where it has been the person, but I've been like, George? And it's like, uh, <laughs> and it's, and that's not my name. And I'm just like, the, on the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I know. I, it's like the fact that I recognize you like, at yeah. some points. That yeah, okay, so you're, you're wary about recognizing him? Yeah, so I was, I was holding back. I was like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And, you know, and... 
And then th- that whole like argument going on between the two tables, like it escalated to where they actually started hitting each other and going like all the foods going everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's like crazy. And then I hear his reaction to it. And just by hearing his reaction in his voice, I was like, oh, that is Dre. Classic Dre. And so like, I was like, dude, Dre, what's up? And then, you know, he was pretty happy to see me. And like, we both just like went at each other. We just gave each other a hug, you know? Mm -hmm. And I thought I was like, what an awesome contrast. Like we're super like stoked to see each other, give each other a hug. And then there's this brawl. (laughs) Rumble, yeah. Yeah, it was great. I was like, I wish... there was like someone who could have taken a picture of that, you know. Any, awesome. Anytime I see like a video, like a, some random fight video or like a random, any kind of video where there's like a skateboarder involved, like I need no contents. Like I'll just naturally be on the skateboarder side. Like it doesn't yeah. matter like <laughs> what kind of fight's going on. It's like, oh, I'm pretty sure the skaters probably like are on the right side of this. Like usually like I feel like skaters are not the ones seeking out the uh, trouble. Uh, I feel like most of the time. I feel like skaters are the ones. Yeah. I mean, being, like I feel like. Does that make sense? What no, I'm saying? it like, totally I feel like, makes uh, sense um, for the most part. For the most for part. For the most part, yeah. Because I, I do want to say, like, and, you know, I'm not trying to, like, I don't know, throw shade on the younger generation or anything. But, the, you know, I think, like, this happened, like, you know, when I was growing up skating, too. It's like some of the, like, younger kids would watch, you know, like a video that was put out by, like, Baker or something. And they would see them, like, lash out on somebody. But then they would, like, kind of, like, kind of take it too far. And, like, it would be, like, you know, somebody would just, like, come by and, like, sneeze. And then they'd be, like, oh, you know, like, lose their shit. I mean, over-exaggerating, of course. But, you know, like, there are those times where people are just trying to fuck with you. And, like, that usually is the case. If you watch a video, it's usually a skater trying to land his trick. And then somebody's just, like, people do the most outrageous shit. And I, I don't know what it is. I was talking to somebody the other day and I was like, to be honest, I think it's just that they're, they're jealous and it, it might like that they, maybe not that they want to be a skater, but that they wish they had like that kind of freedom mm. to just do something that they loved. Mm. And so that's why I think sometimes they're like, no, fuck this. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this. And like, you'll see people who will just like park their cars, like right where they're skating. You know, oh, yeah. or they'll so, turn the spirit. Yeah, so, I've seen people like turn, uh, get a hose and yeah, just start. Okay. Now I totally get what you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah like, yeah, just unnecessary. Like, okay, yeah, come on, man. Like, Jesus Christ, let me just stay. Yeah, I do what you're saying. It's, okay, yeah. So, and then, and also, too, it's like, um, I actually remember getting in a stupid social media argument about like this one skater was getting this big rail and doing a really complicated trick. Uh, I believe it was, I, I want to say it was a lip slide. It was a fat ass rail. And like the security guard kept like standing right where he was supposed to land. And I think mm. when he finally lands the last one, he gets mad and he like pushes, pushes the security him. guard. This is a famous, yeah. I yeah, know exactly okay. What and about. so I left a comment. Does he on, also like eat shit like in a bad way? Like he gets like hurt, right? Like. Are we talking about the same video? Did you uh, say the security guard pushed the kid? No, 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 no. Oh. He pushes the security guard. I, I've seen the exact After, opposite okay. where the security guard I think gets, I know like, what you're talking he about gets like fed up and like pushes him just as he goes airborne and the kid like slams and like looks like he might have like broke his shoulder or something. Like it looks horrible. Yeah, I'm and pretty he's sure. just like Meh. Yeah. I've seen I've seen it so many times. Yeah, um, I'm sure it's like a thousand videos like that. But in this in this video specifically, I, I wanted to leave a comment. I was like, hey, I was like, uh, I was like, he had no business like doing that. I was like, first of all, like, like if you look around like the walls and everything, there's like trash everywhere. There's graffiti. I was like, if you know, he really cared about what was going on, like that stuff would have been like cleaned up a while ago, yeah. you know, or, you know, I'm not saying that he's community service. He should be. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. if you really care about that area. Yeah. And um, then I had some other, like, uh, I was a cop, actually. He was like, oh, I'm a cop and a skater. And he's like, he's just trying to do his job. And Did he roll up on a skateboard? Like, yeah. woo, woo, yeah. woo, woo. <laughs> and, Like the red and blue on his <laughs> skateboard wheels. Probably, you know. <laughs> um, but to me, I, I, so I was like, it's one of those moments where you're like, should I, should I, like, you know, uh, give in to this because the Goddamn social media arguments uh, through comments. Sometimes it's just so unnecessary. Mm. But I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna, f- I'm just gonna dive in. And I just told him, I was like, you know, I was like, first of all, as a security guard, your job is not to be physical with any person at all. Your job is just to 
you know, you're, you know, keeping track of what's going on. If something bad's happening, you call the police. Mm. So I was like, that's the first thing. And I was like, second thing is, yeah, like, obviously they don't care about that area because it looks like shit. Yeah. And then two or three, uh, it's also more dangerous for both, like, the security guard and the skater for him to stand right where he's going to land. Yeah. It's you really know, not- it's like somebody could get seriously hurt. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's, also, it's fucking like, unnecessary. Yeah, not even, like, part of your job, man. Like, yeah. Take a, take a chill pill. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's places where, which is awesome, where you, like, now that I think uh, it's been opening up to the world more, where the security guards are just, like, applauding when they're landing, you mm-hmm. know, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Might as well. I mean, it's yeah. like, yeah, not, not paying me that much to dive in front of this guy. Yeah. Hang on one sec. And we're back. Like, nothing even happened. Um, well, yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, yeah, skateboarding. Always interesting. I've never gotten into it because, uh, I don't like getting hurt, I guess, would always be my go-to is, like, I don't like falling down and, like, getting scraped up and I don't like getting hurt. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, mm, I'll watch you. I'm totally into watching it. I, yeah. I, I admire watching it. It's, like, fun. I like, like, riding. Like, you know, I'll go A to B, but, like, I'm trits. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, there's there's this uh, one icon from skateboarding, uh, and he he was talking about it. He was like, he's like, look, he's like, if you're gonna try to skate and you're not expecting to get hurt or you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to break anything. He was just like, it's not for you. Have you ever broken anything? Yeah, I broke my my these two fingers. Ooh, nice. Yes. Just like trying to catch yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to skate this rail. I wasn't sure about it. And I asked my daughter and she was like, yeah, <laughs> oh, she's so like, this was like recent. Uh, no, this was years ago, man. This was, uh, it was definitely like four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I asked my daughter, she was like, yeah, she was like, go for it. Gave it. Your daughter's like, yeah, do it. No, pussy. She said, what she, are you, what are you <laughs> gay? Do it, dad. <laughs> Jeez, what do I got? Two dads? Where's the dad at? What's going on here? She said something like kind of like heartwarming that kind of that like I was like, all right, now I have to do it. You know, she, I don't know what she said. She was like, yeah, like, you know, what? You know, like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, she said something. So, wow, it really stuck no, with really, me. I, I don't know what she said, but God <laughs> damn, it really blew my mind at the time. Uh, you know, it was something stupid, I'm sure. But wow, she's yeah. a real motivational speaker. <laughs> That's time I'll have to write it down because I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. It was beautiful. I mean, it was it was uh, it was good until I'll like cherish you know, your words. My fingers were if broken. I could only remember them. <laughs> it was it was something like you know like I don't know like go for it like uh, what? she said something like she believed in me or something mm-hmm. like that. So I went for it. Uh, my board slipped out. Oh. Tried to catch myself. Yeah. Uh, I think my fingers, these two fingers were the first two to touch the uh, ground. Yeah. So because they were the first two. Yeah, like all the weight. <laughs> all the weight. So then they both went sideways. Uh, um, and then I was more. And then you ran up to Zoe like, you <laughs> did this. Remember. <laughs> well, that's what it, <laughs> I was worried about was uh, I didn't want her to see. Yeah see that because then because she was also skating so i didn't want her to see that and be traumatized oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> like completely backwards all good babe yeah. yeah so i mean what i did was i tried to pop them into place oh, before she had nice. a chance to see that's cool so and that was hard because it's yeah, crazy like a yeah when nice. you when you dislocate your fingers um this probably goes for a like a lot of like your fingers or your foot or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's weird because like it takes a lot to put, put it back into place. Mm-hmm. At least the fingers took me a lot mm-hmm. and it almost felt like, like you could tell like your fingers are like, all right, something's wrong. But when you're trying to pull it back into place, it doesn't feel like it wants to, yeah. like it's going against you. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy, but like it was also freaking me out seeing my fingers completely sideways. So I was like, oh, yeah, "Let's that, get this yeah. shit back yeah, to where it was." To see every day, yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, fingers unfortunately take forever to heal, mm. especially because I didn't do any of the right anything right. You know, I didn't have medical insurance, which <laughs> made things better. Yeah, um, and then I didn't wrap it up 
for like probably like a week. Mm. And the doctor that I talked to, she was like, anytime you dislocate anything, make sure you wrap it up right away oh. because good to know. Like the tissue is torn. Mm. And that, like, the best way for that tissue to heal properly is if it's wrapped up immediately. Mm. Um, I mean, that might be a case-by-case when it comes to swelling. Um, But she said definitely wrapping it up and not using it, which I used my fingers plenty right after and also at work. Mm -hmm. So it was just fucking it up. And she was like, oh, she told me one pinky was fractured, ring finger was uh, broken. Um and it took probably over a year, probably like a year and a half, till it, the excruciating pain was gone. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, it was pretty rough. But luckily, that's the only thing I've ever broken. Besides that, I think I need it, like my kneecap might need to be checked out eventually. Hmm. But I, I know I've done some pretty good nerve damage. I think my knee, I might have cracked my kneecap. Oh. Um, but it's not completely broken. Which I think is called the patella. Oh, I believe that's the technical Mm. term, Mm. patella. Interesting. But at least like kneecap, you can you can replace that. Do like a bionic one. Yeah. (laughs) Cool. Well, cool. Shred the gnar. Uh, Move on to a little road rage, and I'll direct your attention back to the screen. All right. Dude, it's muted again. Is it? And we're back again. The magic of editing, you don't even know, and I shouldn't have even pointed it out, but we're switching over to a road region with the green goo and the guapo. I'm glad that you haven't seen this because I blasted this all over my stories. All right. Um, yeah, well, this is a little road rage. You need the leaves! <laughs> you need the leaves! <laughs> what the- <laughs> saw this I was dying dude the, the escalation from like uh, slamming his door to slamming the glass to slamming the hood <laughs> to slamming his head when he starts head butting it dude I lost my mind yeah just for the uh, audio listeners how about you just give us a description of what happens okay uh, I mean there's been it an looks accident like he's, obviously yeah there's been an accident he's talking on the phone with like his insurance company oh, wait, here, let me uh, also a little tip for the pro here watch the guy Watch the other guy that was clearly involved in the accident who was much more calm about the situation. Right. He's just walking around like minding his own business. And this dude is just (laughs) slamming his roof. And then he slams his door. Then he's smashing his windshield with his arm. And then... And these guys are just cracking up. The best day of their lives, dude. Oh, yeah. Probably, it would have been the best day of mine, too. Um, yeah, Road Rage. Uh, talk about taking it too far. You know, I, I feel like I always yeah. have that moment where it's like you do snap for a second. Like, maybe, like, when I slam my car door, and then I think I would have snapped. Like, I would have had the out of body and been like, what am I, what am I doing? Like, what am I beating up my car for? But then to take it to, like, smashing the glass <laughs> is next level. And then... So, mash in your head, dude? Like, what is happening? I didn't, like, can you clearly see that part? I didn't oh, see that part. Bro, is feel, it when feel you, free to get as close as you want. It's my, it's, it's my favorite part. He goes window, window, head? hood, hood, and then just like starts oh, damn. losing. Okay, like, he has a complete again. break from <clears throat> reality. <laughs> okay, I see that. Let me see if I can do it. Play by Sorry. play. Okay. Losing it, losing it. Okay, yeah. Hood, hood, hood. There he goes. Oh, I see it. All right, yeah. It is official. <laughs> to, to get all the way to the headbutt phase is like, bro. Yeah. Bro. Like. <laughs> and then, Man. yeah, I just love how, yeah, they're just <laughs> completely losing it with laughter. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, yeah. Good luck you, with that insurance I, claim. I had a, oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, State Jake from State Farm. I'm telling you, dude, these kids are making me lose my mind. I actually had a mild uh, 
road rage incident pretty mild. It wasn't as crazy as that. I don't think anything is as crazy as that. But I was in the drive-thru for this uh, local establishment. And the way that the drive-thru is set up is a little bit unique because it's like it can hold maybe like three cars in the main drive-thru, which is like right up against the building. And then for everybody else, it's like you kind of have to like, this is the drive-thru, you kind of have to wait out here. And so I'm waiting here because I don't want to block traffic here, right? Yeah. Even though there is no traffic. And if you want to go this way, you just go around me, right? As opposed to like hanging halfway out the drive-thru and like blocking the lane. I feel like it's like either way you're kind of blocking, but I don't want to be like halfway out of the lane. So I'm waiting my turn for the next car to scooch up so I have room to go in. This other car, yeah, yeah, like zooms in. And I just happen to be like on my pen. So I was just like, ah. Oh. I just, this dude's pretty hungry. <laughs> like, it's like a rare moment where I was like, you know, like somebody just completely cut in a drive through line and just be like, oh. Mm. Nah. And like, this was Wendy's, you said? Did I say it was Wendy's? I was purposely trying to avoid it. Did you just read my mind oh. right now? <laughs> uh, I probably did say Wendy's. Um, I, I thought you did. I don't know. Maybe I, there's no other way unless you, like, literally just read my mind, yeah. Well, let's read um, it. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, wind it back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the car zooms in. I'm just like, meh. And then, like, uh, I see the window go down, and she's like, I see the lady, like, are you like, what? are you like, her? and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. And so she like, <laughs> she's like, oh, 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 and like, comes back around, and so now we're like this, <laughs> window to window, <laughs> and she's like, how about you like go forward so you're not blocking all the traffic? And I'm just like, <laughs> what? What traffic? Because <laughs> there's nobody. Yeah. And she's just like, uh, like oh, all the car, like, she's just going off. And I'm just like, hey, you're pretty hangry, huh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like at the perfect time, like uh, yeah. a car, the car moved forward. And she's like, well, can you just move up? And I'm like, well, now that there's room, yeah, I'll totally move up. Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> and like, I almost wanted to like, uh, like buy her food. I like, do that thing where it's like, hey, okay. I'll, I'll take care of the person behind me. And then I was like, no, fuck this lady. <laughs> the fuck? First you cut, and then you try to make this huge deal. Like, nah, I was like, no, oh, fuck you, lady. Like, but it was also like a rare time where it's like, I was just like, even if she did cut, I was like, nah, you can, you, you can know have what, it, lady. You know what you should have done? <laughs> Got out of the car and <laughs> beat the shit out of my windshield. No, no you should have <laughs> scooted up like six inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Uh, no, that would have been good. Uh, it it would have been good. Um, I... Yeah, I was so close to buying her food, but then, like, the last second, I was like, nah, this, this hungry bitch is going to order, like, half the menu. Like, fuck that <laughs> shit. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you have any uh, recent uh, road rages, rages on the road? Nothing as good as that. I mean, it's almost not even worth no. saying. It's like, <laughs> no, you can't I mean, nothing it. too crazy. Uh, um, the only thing I, I just had that, like, bothered me is, like, as soon as I got home, there's a car on my ass mm. flashing his his uh, rides. and and to like there's nobody in the other lane oh so like he was just like expecting me to go so faster for him a, just a douche or just to yeah. get out of his lane basically like, yeah i guess you know because he's like royalty or <laughs> something my lane yeah. <laughs> and then so <clears throat> i was like well i'm not gonna even <clears throat> give me no I mean, more like, more reason to as not soon as he fucking, flashed the light that's basically yeah. like giving you a free pass to just like yeah. all right like <laughs> yeah so i was like no i'm chilling Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, okay. He goes around, goes in front of me, and then yeah, here it comes. He doesn't even like speed up or nothing. Yeah. He's like going at a regular speed, and yeah. then like he's going like slow, good job, pretty much. Buddy, and yeah. then so I was like, all right. And then I just like I wasn't really gonna be on his ass, but I started like doing the brights thing mm -hmm. too. I was like, oh fuck you, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a little bit of a satisfaction. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, damn man, like. Like you could have just it is annoying. The yeah, light thing yeah. is annoying. Does it? Yeah. Do you I ever mean. do that thing where you pull up to the light and it's like you're at a red light and you're like, uh, not really. Because I kind of like I would have punched you in the face because yeah. I hate it when I'm at a light and then somebody. <clears throat> and I'm just like, why are you? <laughs> I feel like Ugh. it doesn't really make that yeah, much of like, a difference. Yeah, it's like, bro. Anyway. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure they they understand the technology of like where to fucking get the sensor. Like I don't think your bright is like. like or I think ambulance. somebody. Yeah, somebody. I remember somebody saying like they think it's like a. Ambulance. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, fuck you for thinking that. Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty fuck. fucking stupid. Like, yeah, you really uh, game the system on that. I figured it out, bro. My brights are the same frequency as the ambulance <laughs> light. Um, no, not into it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I think it's hilarious watching them. Or you know what? You know what's even funnier 
is the people who think that there's a sensor from like the distance of the vehicle. Have mm-hmm. you seen this? Where they go in reverse? Oh, if you go <laughs> back and forth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that one's pretty good. That's good, like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, road rage. Uh, always try to be cool, because I like, always see videos of people just fucking like... <laughs> yeah, like when, like, it, when it gets to that point, it's like, all right, man. Like, like the slightest thing, yeah, you never know. You never know. Uh, I saw... Um, actually, I think I have the video saved, but there was like recent like footage of like somebody going to like a Jack and Bots um, drive through and like they have like a little skafuffle. Actually, you know what? I think I might actually have it. I was going to save it for like a current events kind of thing. But I think this is pretty current. Oh no, it's a scooter video again. <laughs> I mean, I'm done but watching dude, it again. we got the audio now. Yeah, dude. They're mobbing. I'm gonna throw it up behind us when we have it it's, on it's like watching the fucking uh, Hell's Angels. Yeah, they had a good oh, 30 second run. Oh. Ooh. That dude just. What a champion, though. You know, I, I will walking. say it is fantastic camera work. Like, that thing yeah. just had the perfect angle to catch that scorpion. <laughs> Finish him. It, it was um, a pretty good timing. Yeah, and it's, um, but yeah, um, try to keep the <laughs> energy up here with our next segment, <clears throat> Buzzsaw. I wanted to talk about the uh, newest upcoming Saw X, which blew my mind because I thought it was just like Saw X. Right, that's a cool name. Yeah. I didn't realize this is the 10th goddamn film in this franchise, dude. Mm-hmm. How did this franchise get away from me? And I totally did not even realize it. <laughs> Um, I thought the same thing. Like, I've talked to people at work about it. Yeah. And I've told people, I'm like, I'm not a, that big of a fan Dude, of, like... after when three, they, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. cannot tell you what's one movie and what's the other one. It is just a blur of... <laughs> like, because like, I know one is the OG, of course. Yeah. Two is, like, the house. I don't like that one. I, I just remember they're all in the house. Yeah. Somebody falls in needles. That's the only thing I remember is they fall on a big thing of syringes. That's, I think that's like towards the end. That's like the highlight I think some, for me. That's all yeah. I remember. And then three, I remember being like pretty okay, it's all right. And then it's just like and then it's just like ooh, like into madness. Like uh because he dies. He dies in three. He dies multiple times. That, which is more he, crazy. He dies and like, come dude, he just he he can't die. It's just, as long as they have that tape recording, they yeah. just made his audio, you know, just keep doing the recordings. Yeah, but uh, if you had to, do you have a favorite saw? Like, I don't. Uh, do it, I it, have a favorite saw? Is it I weird mean, that, like. This has to be the first one. Do you find saw to be scary? No. It's more just like gnar, no. like, right? It's more just it's, like. It's more. Gore. It's more yeah. just like the torture aspect and then just. Torture the, porn. Kind of thing. It does kind of always have like a pretty sweet twist action at the end. Like there is like a pretty good. I love that soundtrack. I love yeah. that soundtrack at the end. The fucking boy damn wow, boy damn wow. It's fucking great. I remember this. Yeah. Hey, remember that? Yeah. I wanted to play a game, and you're like, <laughs> oh shit. Those are always good. Yeah, um, the soundtrack was good. The scary little clown thing, whatever. Uh, when was the last time Jigsaw. you watched a song? It's been a long time. I think I just like like just like you. I just don't care as much. I'm glad you say that because I'm probably gonna see the newest one after we one. finish this. I'm probably gonna yeah. go see it oh, tonight, sure. probably depending on time. Yeah. Um. Oh, never mind. But, uh, <laughs> but um. So I was like, ah, you know, I'll check out a saw. I haven't. I can't remember four, five, six, seven. I saw the Chris Rock one, which I think is the newest. It's not good. Uh, I don't really remember. Which is crazy because I saw it not that long ago. Chris Rock was in one. Yeah, he's in oh. the most recent. I believe yeah. it's called Jigsaw. Ah, okay. Spiral. I'm sorry. Spiral. What an idiot! It's Damn. called Spiral. Obviously, dude, get, get the names yeah, right, dude. How did I not get Come it? Um, but I don't remember anything other than it, the feeling of being like, "This is terrible." Yeah. Um, and I can't remember the last six movies, so I was like, "All right, let me check out three because I remember liking three. I don't think I like it anymore. It's so full of like these weird zooms and like mm. they go sense. bananas at the end, dude. When they're like doing the big pretty blah, they go. <laughs> it's like Clockwork Orange. I'm just like, oh, 
oh, it's just like a seizure of just clips like, look at everything from the past three movies. Yeah. And they do that awesome thing too that I hate in like any movie where they're like, remember that thing that happened two seconds ago? Like, and they incorporate it into the montage. Like, it just happened. Yeah. Like, she just shot that lady. And it's like, remember when you shot that lady? And it's like, yeah, dude, it, it was just then. Uh, I, I always think about um, the montage I always compare it to is the montage in Rocky Four. Mm-hmm. There's a montage right after Apollo dies, and it's a whole montage about like, hey, remember when Apollo died? Literally, like two seconds ago, like Damn. he dies, and Rocky's like, ah, I gotta go on a drive and clear my mind. And then the whole <laughs> thing is like, it's just clips from like the fight, like two minutes ago. It's just like, oh, dude, I hate this montage for no reason. Like, yeah, yeah, but um, I guess it's like a half a prequel. It's taking place between. One and two, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to see it in a... You ever seen a movie in 4DX? No, never. Where, like, it <clears throat> punches you and... No, that's why I'm going to see Saw, because it's going to really like, torture the fuck. <laughs> just oh, God, blades coming amazing. out. It's amazing. That fucking... <laughs> like, the two just down, like, the poster. Ah. <laughs> it's oh, shit. On you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I want to play a game. <laughs> Um, I would fun. die 100%, dude. In any game, like after he explained the rules, I'd be like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm yeah. fucked. And like, any I'm kind minute. of like trivia, you've like, got, you know. You've got one minute until the bomb goes off. And like, well, I just said, one minute to just sit here and chill. Because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ripping this thing out of my jaw. Like, what? Yeah, it's, uh, that'd be pretty impressive no. to be in that situation and get yourself out of it. Do you have a favorite? <clears throat> torture thing but I'm trying to think that, I, like, can't, I can't really I remember. might be blanking I know that the classic there was the, like, the bear trap one yeah the bear I trap die. I would die <laughs> uh, I, uh, fuck I don't even remember which one this it was it gets blurry because like um, I think in 3 the big twist was like his, that chick she was like rigged in the games to where they were like unbeatable yeah yeah Um, I could say one idea that he had or whatever I liked was like the they had the crew of people and they had the fish tank that they had to fill up with blood. Mm. I don't know if you remember, they had to stick their arm through it and oh, had a saw. Doesn't it split down? Yeah, yeah and they yeah. had to keep going until they filled yeah. it up. That way it would open the you door. Just grab one person and yeah. make them just, do it. Right? Like, <laughs> dude, that, that was like the idea I liked was like, man, like you got to like either work yeah, as a team or like, the here, yeah. no, you go first. I don't yeah, know. Really like, squid game it up. Yeah. But we're going for passing the 40 mark. I mean, if you take away, like, all the weird cuts I'll have to do. Yeah. Maybe we can talk a little bit more about stuff. I mean, I think it'd be a good time to call it and do another episode. I got to piss so bad. Or you want to do a cut, but I got to piss bad. Okay, why not? uh, All right, we'll do a cut, and then we can, uh, how about we watch this clip? And we can just end the episode on All this right. clip. All right. About halfway where it starts getting juicy. Okay. Bro, you took your ball. If you need money for a golf ball... Feel free to describe. Ah, uh, man. Two people at a golf course arguing? Yeah, some kind um, of a verbal... Walter. The guy with the... Oh, the guy who's... Oh, he's flexing? The dude is flexing and looking at himself as well. Okay. Dude, it's all in the eyes, and dude. Yeah. It's really all in dude, the eyes. He's on something. If he's not on something, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen to what he Look. says. What, what? That's a dude who's been to heaven. Oh, you want to yeah. test God? Uh, you come and get it, oh, damn. dude. The dude. fact that he just like threw that out like a WWE wrestler, oh, dude. Know. No stumbling on his lines or nothing. No. He threw it out perfect. Yeah, perfect like, promo, what like, dude. What I like is his roar. Oh, when he really... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a... I don't know, like a... I know that some you're, kind of velociraptor. Or I know that you're a little bit far away from the screen, but I'm telling you, dude, his eyes, dude, it's are insane. It's, it's insane. Even before the shirt comes off, you see it switch like it's like a <laughs> shark, dude. It just goes black. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah, tell you was, this. Uh, I would definitely be like, "All right, man, <laughs> it's your whole dude. You play through. <laughs> you dude. got it. You play through. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> you're good, bro. Um, you won. 
Yeah, but that was, uh, that was a pretty good, pretty good episode. Pretty yeah. good stuff. Uh, oh, good. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe on YouTube. It definitely helps. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Hit it up on Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Anything else you want to throw out where the people can find you? Um, yeah, no, no, just, no. I would say stick to the YouTube, Ooh, Instagram. Yeah. You, you know, know where it's at. Get on there. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, call it a pod. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Gringo and the Grappa with Kyle McLemore. Alex Duarte. We'll see you next time.